Learning Design Using Mobile Technology in Visual Literacy Teacher Training. My name is Catalina Wilcapi Coliantes. Introduction. This paper describes the learning design of a visual literacy course for teaching training in which mobile technology supports the learning process based on the RASE framework. In order to integrate mobile technology for teacher training in visual literacy, the authors designed and implemented a blend learning course of 20 hours. It was, was based on RASE framework. The course content was based on graphic design principles. It was developed a mobile app as a resource. I'm going to explain the RASE framework. RASE is the acronym of Resources, Activity, Support, and Evaluation. It has four components. This learning design model was developed to assist teachers in designing learning models, setting the student-centered learning approach, and integrating emerging technologies in the teaching practice. Author says that the activity is the main component to achieve the learning outcomes. Evaluation is fundamental aspect of the learning experience. Guides and rubrics are basic instruments to involucrate students in their learning. Support should assist learners through the process in face-to-face -face classes and online. And the resources should help students to learn with and not just learn from them. We focus on the resources. I'm going to explain the resource that we use in this uh, proposal. Visual is uh, a mobile app that promotes visual literacy. It has six units, typography, type contrast, composition, technical affairs, meaning, and rhetoric. Each unit has 10 learning activities. So the app has 60 learning activities. The app is free and also users of Android and iOS can use it. Okay, I'm going to explain how we integrate the resource in the visual literacy course and how we base this integration in the four components of RASE framework. Remember, the visual literacy course had 20 hours. Day one and day two, the participants attended face-to-face -face seven hours each day. Day three and day four, the participants attended online three hours each day. They received support all the time, the 20 hours, and also the resource was available all these days. The participants performed the activities during the course. This course is part of a bigger study. So we conducted a pre-test and post-test here are not these results, but it's important to say that the evaluation was in the first day and also in the last day after the course. And the main activity was to build teaching material. So participants produce educational resources after the course, and we evaluate this activity as the most important the relation between the app and the course content. Here in this table, you can see a detailed description of the days, the content of the visual literacy course, and also the units and teams of the visual app. You can see here how the units of the app are related to the visual literacy course teams, the most difficult for participants. The participants were able to perform the activities the days the classes were online. Implications for teacher training. Exploring innovative tools and resources for learning provide educators with more options to develop the competencies they need. The teacher's readiness to use mobile technology in classroom should be supported with training to develop skills, knowledge, and confidence by experience. Future work. It will be important to ask participants their opinions about the usefulness of the visual mobile app in the visual literacy course. It will be important to collect the user's feedback about the visual app's pedagogical and user interface usability. It will be helpful to improve and upgrade the app. And also 
data should be used to measure the correlation between the quantitative data of previous studies related to the blended learning course of visual literacy. Thank you for your attention.